Hey everybody, this is Vic LaPlaca here with Marine Max Sail and Ski in San Antonio. Today we're going to take a look at this Sea Ray SPX 230. It's a very good looking boat. We got the black hole bottom here with the red hole side. Kind of a new look a lot of manufacturers are going to. I think it looks real sharp. Matches with the black tower. Boat has a beam of eight foot six inches. We got the gas fill here on the port side. This boat has a gas tank of 60 gallons. Plenty of fuel for a nice long weekend on the water. You got the gray sea deck on the back. We got the fold out platform extension obviously when the lower units all the way down that will fold all the way down as well this boat is equipped with the Bravo 3 lower unit so you got the twin props a little bit you know bulkier lower unit to handle more torque it's like four-wheel drive in a sense in a boat great traction on the whole shot It is equipped with the elevation package, as I said earlier. Got the black tower, wakeboard racks on both sides with the integrated bimini. We got the black Shorelander trailer underneath this boat. Goes well having a black hole bottom. It's got the swing tongue up front, surge brake system toes amazingly a nice accent decal there let's go ahead and take a look at the inside of this boat as we focus our attention here on the transom of the boat you'll see you got the nice large sun pad which is perfect for some sunbathing going ahead to enter the boat here you'll see you got a nice walkway on the port side of the ship a little storage compartment down here where the battery is located at got the onboard uh, charger plug right right behind this little black cap that way when your boat's sitting in a storage or in its slip it always stays at 100 percent charge got this small little walkway door here to keep small children or small little pets from uh making their way back to the transom of the boat while it's underway Go ahead, nice gradual step down into the cockpit. Got this nice snap-in sea deck here. It's a little bit thicker than the regular stuff, so it's you know very comfortable on the feet. Easy to keep clean, and even you know clean the fiberglass below if you have to. Right here, we got some courtesy lighting in the steps. An extra storage compartment where your anchor light is located. And right here they place the battery switch conveniently here by the walkway. That way when you're entering the boat and exiting the boat, it is right there. So the first thing you would do is either turn it on to one and two, obviously, and then when you're tied up just listen to music, you switch it over to one and as you exit the boat for the day, you'd go ahead and shut it off. Looking at the interior of this boat, you'll see that we uh, have the nice stone color throughout the upholstery, the nice stitching pattern. These seats do rotate so everybody can conversate when you're just tied up. They both have the nice thigh bolsters. So sit a little bit higher if you wanted a little bit better visibility. We got the fusion head unit right here. All your light switches, horn. In this model, we went for the dash glass look, so we got the nice 
uh, Simrad screen there it tells you all your vitals shows you multiple different you know maps and things your depth on the right hand side of the steering wheel we have some of the mechanical switches like your build your blower uh, the you know surface soon light and then we have a spot in case you wanted to wire in an extra switch for some sort of accessory and of course the ignition got the nice sharp steering wheel by C Ray very elegant got your safety switch down there for the platform got a couple extra you know 12 volt outlets there USB plugs keep those phones charged up when you're on the water smart craft shift lever you can start stop the boat from here as long as the keys on trim throttle only here in the center of the cockpit you'll notice that we have a large ski locker goes pretty much all the way up to the bow fusion speakers in the cockpit we got two and then our third would be the large subwoofer behind the driver's seat two extra bow speakers there nice large bow plenty of room for people to sit up here you have one of two table base mounts your second one will be back here in the cockpit this boat is equipped with two cockpit tables and the table bases in case you or tied up and just want to have a midday snack somewhere to place some drinks we'll go back here show you where they are located that opens the engine hatch this boat is equipped with the 6.2 Mercruiser 300 horse engine here on the left side of the engine you got a compartment where you'll see both tables they mount in nicely got the carpet bunk in the middle so they don't clank and beat each other up and then two brackets for the table bases right there go ahead and close that we got the head here also duplicates as a large storage compartment if that's what you prefer to use it as leather dash wood grain up on top of the head here in front of the passenger ski mirror plenty of storage underneath all the cushions up in the bow and throughout the cockpit got the cooler nicely located down below if you're worried about storage in the boat as far as height goes in your slip or storage facility the tower does have these knobs one on each side here you remove those and it has these cables that counteract it falling forward so it gently can be set down so it doesn't fall and damage anything got the board racks there this is the elevation package with the integrated bimini. The bimini does need to be stowed away with the boot on, tied to the tower there. That is what we call transportation mode. If you're going to be trailer trailering your boat large uh, distances, Sea Ray went ahead and already tap the tower for tower speakers so if you wanted to go ahead and add those while it's in for service be a great add-on have a little bit of extra music there in the back well thank you all for coming on this walkthrough of this beautiful Sea Ray 230 SPX if you have any other questions in regards to this Sea Ray or any other boat in our inventory 
feel free to drop by one of our three locations, San Antonio, Austin, or Lakeway. Or you can reach me at 210-301-2507. Again, that's 210-301-2507. Thank y'all, and we'll see you on the water.